players and coaches are sitting down there every day at practice watching Drake May get better and better and better and look like the guy that they drafted with the third overall pick. And upstairs is like, nope, stick to the plan. We got a plan. Yeah. We don't want to play the kid. That's why we spent eight million dollars on Jacoby Brissett. See, Phil talked about it. Now you got Paul Perillo's in who's in the building. He's talking about These it. These guys are there every day. And it's the most dangerous thing when the players start talking about it. And this is what I told you guys. You can't fool them. You can fool all of us. You can fool the fans. You can fool the people that cover the team. You can't fool the players. And the kids making plays in practice. And that's what's evident. But the problem is, it's funny how he said Mayo, too. Because I do think, like, 100%, Alex Van Pelt wants Percet. Because I think it makes his job easier right now. And I just wonder, if May goes in, does the offense change? Do they go to the pistol? Do they do some other things to mix it up for him? Does Ben McAdoo have something up his sleeve for him? That remains to be seen. Because I don't think you could run the same offense with him. We talked about this yesterday. Do you think Gerard Mayo is starting a campaign to get him to the place where he can just name Drake May the starter? It feels a little bit like that. I mean, it, because you've been, you've been saying it yourself, so for what? Uh, since about four, the, wait, four after, or five weeks. And after the Jets game, you said, hey, Gerard Mayo sounds like a guy who wants to go to Drake May soon. And then you said he watched the tape. Okay, and he dialed it back a little bit and saying yeah. Jacoby's the guy. And what I told you, and I think you kind of agreed, was it's not like he had some over the top commitment to Jacoby Brissett. What did he say? He's like, he's a starter until I say he isn't. Until yeah. I say he is. Right. I mean, that could be tomorrow. That could be, <laughs> he could have decided before the game against the Jets. Right. Or, or I'm sorry, before the San Francisco game, he could decide tomorrow that he's not the starter. Right. So it wasn't like this big ringing endorsement. He just said, no, he's still the starter. But he's and, he, still- and he will be until I say yeah. otherwise. It sounds like maybe he's the guy who's looking at it going, we got to get this kid in there at some point. And he's got to battle back against the front office guy and Elliot Wolf, who had a, his plan, right, who wants to punt on the season. That's what Elliot Wolf, I believe, mm-hmm. wants to do, just punt on the year, use it as a year to, you know, maybe get a little development, build up the draft board, go back at it again and try in free agency. That's what he'd rather do, trade away Matthew Judon and get the third rounder because right. we want to stock up on the picks. I don't care about the immediate success, even though I love that trade. Good for you, Elliot. But he wants to punt on it. The coaches are like, or the coach, the head coach, is like, I want to try and be the best team we can be. I'm in my first head coaching job. The number in that first column at the end of this year matters for me not only this year and sure how I'm perceived by my boss, the owner, but it matters two years from now when we're analyzing my resume and track record to see if I deserve to still keep doing the job, it will matter. The difference between a six-win team and a four-win team is huge in a three-year window when you're right. sort of taking stock of what your head coach did. And so I'm, I'm guessing if Jacoby Brissett is just Jacoby Brissett and Drake May is coming on and getting better and the players see it and Gerard Mayo sees it, he's now going to battle back against Alex Van Pelt and Elliot Wolf. No, he's a head coach. That's what I hope he right. realizes. I hope he does that and just says, the hell with you. I make the call. So this is it's not even about last Thursday. Go back to the middle of August when he said he was outplaying him. Like he came to the podium right. and said, hey, he is outplaying him and the best players play. So it felt like it was an open competition at some point. Then that got dialed back. Because I think you meet as an offensive staff and they're like, hey, we're going with Jacoby. But it's starting to pick up a little bit. I mean, again, you got Phil in here this morning. Talking about it. Paul Perillo with the guys yesterday. Same thing. If the players are talking about it, it's getting close. I mean, that's all you can judge it off. That's all you can judge it off. Like, we don't see practice. But if players are saying, hey, the kid looks really freaking good. And you're throwing for 100 yards in games. And you're not effective on offense. You know what's coming down the line. And it's, we got to accelerate and get him ready. Like, the head coach sees it and probably would say, yeah, we got to get him up and running. But remember, Alex Van Pelt is the head coach of the offense. So he makes the call. On a quarterback for now until Gerard uh, overrides him. And that, I think that day is coming soon. I mean, he said it. Like, I'll make the decision for now. So I hope he makes the call. I hope he makes it soon. If Sunday doesn't go well, go with the kid. You got one o'clock games the rest of the way. It's... 
not a lot of eyeballs. The Thursday night thing is out of the way. You don't have to worry about that short week. Right. You don't have to worry about any crazy travel for a bit. London is a little different, but not a big deal. London's not that bad. No, that's what I mean. It's not that yeah. bad. Everyone who's ever it's had like to going do West that Coast. in the NFL. It's like yeah. going to West Coast. So. Uh, there's some people that might say it's even better. I don't know how. I mean, to be playing a game that early on East Coast time. Because you're not catching up on the three hours. You're six hours ahead. I know, which makes it a lot earlier. I don't, yeah, I don't get Based it. on your right. body clock right. when you go over there. If you stay on the clock. Right? Like, it's easier right. to play later than it is to play earlier. Right. But let's go. Get them up and running. Let's Coming. go. We're getting there. We're getting there, Zell. There's your schedule. 49ers this week, and then every game until you have the Cardinals in, is that December by then? No. I believe it is. Yeah. yeah the Cardinals in December is the week last. 15. Long road trip. And McCone has them losing to the Jags, but potentially winning seven games. Yes. boy. It checks out. Does it? Man, week five is a really nice landing spot oh, it's for Drake May. It's perfect. Because that stretch, like the Jets are tough, obviously, but everyone else in that like stretch of six or seven weeks is... That's not bad. Yeah, I, so, I, you know, I honestly, the Jets on a short week, though. Like, you got the Jets at home, and point you two, yeah. game plan for it, and they got guys out. I really do like, week, uh, like weeks five or nine for it. Those those are the weeks that I like. Yeah. I didn't love the Dolphins one, other than it was at home, and it was after a month. But it looks real sweet right now, doesn't yeah. it? Sure yes. does. Perfect time. Dolphins are calling around, looking for a quarterback right now, trying to find anybody better than what they have. I mean, that they're calling everybody. I heard. Yeah? Yeah. Calling around. Her oh. Brian Hoyer got a call. Oh, well, there's that. Yep. Is he going to go? I mean, if the money's right, he'll go. They should pay him. It's all about the money, right? He would absolutely be better than what they have. Yeah. He they, would. They, they should be calling him. I'd call him, too. Five million. Get him down there. That's an appropriate number. Yeah. It's a good number for for uh, for him. Do it after week five, though. We don't need yeah. that. We don't need no. that. We don't need for... to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need that for... We want Skyler. Yeah, we want Skyler Thompson. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Or that UConn guy there, Boyle. Fair. Boyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a little Drake May talk. We'll pick that up again with Burt Breer, who will come in and give you Elliot Wolf's opinion on it and Alex Van Pelt's opinion on it. And maybe he's got Gerard Mayo's opinion on it, too. We got updates uh, on 95 down in Florida for him, too. <laughs> We're also going to show him a map of Florida. Hey, if you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand right here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 985thesportshub.com.